G'day folks, Connor here from CW Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're looking at the Tapo C200 indoor security camera from TP-Link. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. So the Tapo C200 is one of TP-Link's Wi-Fi security cameras. It comes in at 1080p and has some great little features for the price. Now. Quickly, there's links down below if you do want to pick one of these up. There'll be links to Amazon, eBay, and some other sites as well. It's pretty easy to set up, but sometimes we all need a little bit of guidance with these things. So this is how you set it up. Now, some quick specs are you have pan and tilt the camera so you can see what's happening within your house. 1080p or 720p. It has two-way audio, so you can actually call it or you can just talk through it or you can hear what's happening within the house as well. So that's pretty cool. It has motion detection and privacy mode and also night vision as well. All of these are great features for the price. You're looking at around 85 bucks Australian. I think that's a great price and uh, there's some really some good features there you can look at. Everything you need to install this to a wall you get in the box. You will also need the Tapo app, a Wi-Fi network and a smartphone. Now to get started, the first thing you should do before you even take the camera out of the box is download the Tapo app and then set up an account with Tapo. Now once you've downloaded the app and created an account, I want you to plug in the camera, the C200. Just plug it in wherever you're sitting. You don't have to have it set up in the right spot yet. We can do that later. However, turn it off. Once it's on, open your application and you will see a plus sign in the top right hand corner of the Tapo app. Hit that and then choose your camera. And in this case, it's the C200. Now, once the LED light on your camera starts to blink red and green, you wanna tap next and then allow location permissions within your phone. Once that has been done, again, press next and wait for the camera to locate your phone. Now, the next step, you wanna open the Wi-Fi settings on your phone. In there, you wanna search for new devices and you will see the Tapo C200. Click on that and wait for it to connect. You will then get a prompt that asks you if you want to keep the Wi-Fi connection. You do want to, so tap keep Wi-Fi connection. Now, go back into the Tapo application and your Tapo app will then start to scan for a Wi-Fi network. Choose your home network and enter your password for your network. Once it's connected, you will hear a voice come out of the camera that says Wi-Fi connected. connected That's a good sign. Once you've done this, you will get an option to choose the name and location of the camera. Mine is the living room camera and it's located in the living room. Nice and simple. Now remember, the idea is to actually get more than one and you could end up with several cameras around your house. Now once you've chosen the name and location of the camera, just click next and it will connect and voila, you are done, it is set up. Now from there, you can decide where you wanna put the camera. Now you can mount it so it is fixed to a surface. You do get screws and you get a mounting plate and you can line it up nice and even, mark out your little screw holes where you want them and then screw the device to the surface. You can have it hanging from the ceiling that looks very security camera like or you could just have it sitting on a bench and not mounted or screwed into anything. I have chosen to just sit it on a little coffee table. I want it just to be sitting there so I can move it if I feel I want to. It's very easy to screw into a surface and very easy to remove and place somewhere else if you do choose to go that way. Now it isn't cloud based, but you will be able to use up to a 128 gig memory card and that will record up to four days of footage for you. You can access the camera from anywhere in the world and you can actually record straight to your smartphone at any time. And you can also have motion alerts set up. So as soon as there's movement detected in the lounge room, it'll start to record on your device. Now that's gonna get triggered a lot if you live in a big family, or but if you live by yourself and you're at work and there's no one home all day, it's a handy thing to have set up. Now that it's set up, you have all the features at your fingertips. So you can pan and tilt, talk through it, make a voice call or a video call to someone, record your clips. If you see something that looks suspicious, you can press record or take a photo and it will save the image to your phone. It doesn't matter if something happens to the device because the image will be saved to your phone. And that's how you set it up. It's very simple. I hope you appreciated this 
Now, like I said, make sure you subscribe because I do have a full review coming out on this and the CASA KC200 as well. I did a video recently on the CASA KC200. On that video was a setup of how to set it up outside. So check that out as well if you'd like to. Always more videos coming. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. And I will catch you in the next video. Check ya.